welcome to everyone. My name is Abdul Basit Bhatt. I am a second prof student at VMMC and Sabdajang Hospital. This video is directed to the new joinees of MBBS, that is the batch of 2024. The sole purpose of making this video is to basically introduce you to this professional course of MBBS and guide you regarding the first prof stuff. Okay. So first of all, congratulations to everyone for cracking the NEET exam and joining this course. In this video, I will be discussing the following points. First, I will introduce you to the degree of MBBS and then I will uh, discuss the resources you ought to use for first prof of MBBS. Then I will discuss the coaching platforms and YouTube channels and few complimentary apps and websites which can enhance your study. Med school essentials, difference between using a hard copy or an iPad for study and the entrance examinations that are here in India for PG entrance and for residency in US, England and Australia. So basically, as every one of you must be familiar that MBBS is a course of five and a half year duration and there are 19 subjects in it. It is basically divided into four props and one year of internship or house job. In the first prop, you have three subjects, anatomy, physiology and biochemistry and a portion of community medicine is also taught in first year and you have rural postings of BSM family adoption program in first year. In second prof, you have three subjects, pathology, pharmacology and microbiology and a portion of pharmaco uh, and a portion of community medicine and FMT is taught in second year. Okay. And you also have clinical postings from the second year itself. In third prof part one, you have four subjects, community medicine, FMT, ophthalmology and ENT. In third prof part two, also known as fourth prof or final prof, it's of one and a half year duration. You have medicine, surgery, obstetrics, pediatrics, ortho, radio, derma, anesthesia, and psychiatry. Four main subjects in the final year are medicine, surgery, obstetrics, and pediatrics. And then you have one year of internship. Okay. So if I discuss the resources you ought to use for the first prof, so you have three subjects in first prof: anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Anatomy is further you know, divided into gross anatomy, histology, and embryology. Gross anatomy. Now you have books like Grey's Anatomy, BDC, Vishram Singh and two atlases. One is a sketch based atlas of Natter and one is cadaveric atlas of Macmillan and Abraham. What I would suggest is as a resource book you can use Grey's Anatomy and refer to one of the books for the theoretical aspect either BDC or Vishram Singh. And you know when you are in the DH and for example you have to study any topic like axilla, first of all you must see the diagrams of uh, axilla from netter like brachial plexus and all from it okay then you can study it from uh, Vishram Singh and get a glance from Grey's okay and you can use McQueen for the cadaveric mates in histology it's simple the gold standard book is DFUR at the UG level for example purposes, you can use the book of Dr. Yogi Sontake IB Singh's book is also good okay in embryology you have the Langman which is the gold standard book for example, purposes you can refer to Vishram Singh's. In physiology, it's simple. You have two gold standard books, Guyton Hall and Ganong. What I would suggest is uh, you follow Guyton all throughout your first year and also study clinical aspects from the Ganong. You know, uh, when you are having lectures at your college, teachers do suggest you certain topics and chapters that you should study from Ganong. You can uh, study that, that those topics from Ganong. Okay. For example, purposes you can refer to GK Paul. In biochemistry, Lippincott and Harper both are good books. I would suggest you study Lippincott and few topics that are not given in detail in Lippincott, you study that from Harper, okay? For example, purpose, you can refer to the books of Satya Narayan and Vasudevan and you can also use the notes of Dr. Jambul Kasar. Uh, talking about few coaching platforms and YouTube channels, if you need a complimentary you know, video lectures for anatomy, you can refer to Dr. Ashini Sir's video lectures. Uh, in physiology, I would suggest you study from books itself. But if you are adamant to watching any video lectures, you can refer to uh, Soman Sir's video lectures. Okay, and few channels on YouTube that are beneficial are uh, Ninja Nerd, Najib's. There's a three-hour odd video on ECG by Dr. Najib Sir. You can watch that. That's really conceptual. Physiology Open, Dr. Mitesh Dave. You know when you have stage exams and other practical examinations in anatomy for hard part, soft part, you can refer to the video lectures of Dr. Mithi Dave. 
Then you have channels like Alila Medical Media, Emboss, Cleveland Clinic, Dirty Medicine, and Armando Hasanduga. Okay. Few complementary apps and websites that are beneficial are ePocketbook or WHO, CDC, Up to Date, Access Medicine, Tomorrow's Clinicians, Clinical Examinations, Clinical Radiopedia, and Stanford. Basically, if you need to study in detail about a certain disease or any drug, you can refer to these. And if you want any, you know, see any clinical examination, whether it be it of CVS, respiratory system, or examination of breast and all, you can watch from tomorrow's clinicians and clinical examination. If you want any image of radiology, any x-ray or MRI or CT scan, you can get it from Radiopedia. Two sites or two apps that are good for anatomy are Anatomy 3D Atlas and TM Anatomy. For reading research articles and all, you can refer to Lancet, Spine Health and PubMed. Okay. Talking about med school essentials, you know, first I talked about books. In addition to that, uh, you have white coat apron, dissection kit, h &E pencils for drawing the histology diagrams, dissection gloves, face masks, bone set if you can afford it, inch tape, scrubs and stuff. The green marked, you know, uh, star marked, they are essential for first year. <clears throat> Many students have this confusion that, you know, whether to use a hard copy for making uh, notes or for uh, studying books or to use an iPad. What I would suggest is, if you have been using, you know, uh, study uh, if you have been studying from books you can continue with that but at the end of the MBBS you have 19 subjects and you cannot carry the books of 19 subjects in your bag okay? better be you also have an iPad and you can you know make notes uh, notes from notebook or you can make notes on the iPad itself that varies from person to person okay in India you have the entrance exams of NEET PG and INSCT. INSCT basically is for entrance into AIMS College as well as for the rest of the government colleges you have need PG, uh, need PG examinations. There are also you know talks about clumping these two examinations and framing an exam named next national exit test. And for entrance examinations into residency program of USMLE for US. For entry into residency program of UK you have PLAB and for Australia you have AMC. Now, after MBBS in India, you can either go into a medicine branch or a surgery branch. You uh, got to do MD in medicine, pediatrics and all. Then you can do DM in cardiology, neurology, uh, urology, etc. In surgical field, you can first do the general surgery, then MCH in CTVS, neurosurgery, etc. I will briefly uh, brief you about the USM examination. Basically, it has three steps. Step 1, Step 2, CK and Step 3. Step 1, basically, it is after second year of MBBS. You can also give it during the third year also. Step 2 CK is given after final year or during internship and step 3 after the first year of residency in USA. Okay. Uh, PLAB is uh, relatively simplistic. Uh, it has two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is objective exam MCQ based and while well part 2 is OSCE. Okay. So that's it. Thank you very much.